So someone's getting burned. Um, they made a bad business deal. So somebody made a deal with somebody else here. And they thought they were burning somebody else. And someone is being engulfed with flames here. Someone's out of resources. So someone could be getting burned by a deal that they made because they're out of resources. Oh, and it looks like they have a lot of beds here. So someone could be getting burned by a deal involving sleeping with a lot of people. Mm, that does not sound good. So there's a band here, a group of people that are out of resources. I hate to say sex trafficking and automatically jump to shit like that, but there's a lot of beds here. There's empty resources, there's a group of people here, and there's someone getting burned. And there's a soulmate here, or twin flame connection, um, who's getting ghosted. So somebody ghosted their soulmate or twin flame for a third party and a karmic twin. Or a false soulmate or false twin flame. <clears throat> So, somebody here goes to their soulmate for a karmic, and they're getting burned. Um, mm, 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 mm. It may be of the STD variety here. There's a lot of people that's in trouble um, for having a lot of sex with multiple people, and it's not looking good. I may have to pull my hair back if it keeps getting caught. <laughs> Someone's alone just here chilling. So this could be you who ghosted somebody else after finding out they were involved with a third party situation. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair back so it doesn't get caught up. <laughs> you could have found out that your person that you were with was involved with multiple people. Definitely at least one. Um, so maybe this karmic um, permits this person to sleep with other people. We have an empress here in the upright who's going through a transformation. So this could be a divine femme who ghosted... Um, their partner or person after finding out they were sleeping with multiple people This is definitely somebody that you were attached to but there were strings attached There's strings coming together with these two partners here So there were strings attached to something and this could be somebody that you were partnered with that you ghosted that chose a karmic and there could have been strings attached to the relationship you had together there could also be strings attached to um you know this person that hooked up with the karmic because they may allow them to sleep with a lot of people there's a group of people here that are turning their back um on someone or that turn their back on someone um it could be the person that um you ghosted as well because they have a mess to clean up so this could be part of that group or organization or whatever it is that deals with, um, you know, shady practices. It doesn't have to be limited to sex trafficking or sex, but um, there's a lot of beds here. So there's a lot to do with some sort of sex trade going on here. I'm just strongly picking up that energy. Um, and there's a mess to clean up. Maybe this group of people, yeah. This could be a second group of people that were associated with this group maybe they knew what they were doing maybe they didn't um but there's a big mess that was made because of what this group did or what this other group did so this could be like a partnership between two organizations or two groups that were working together and one got burned because they were doing a lot of shady shit and they were bringing a lot of attention about a lot of bad press and they were going to bring a whole organization down. This could be related to that secret society, that cult stuff. And there's too much attention being brought to a group. So the group that was partnered up with these, 
well, I don't want to say any of them aren't shady, because to me, I'm seeing both groups have their own agendas here. Um, but the one group doesn't want any more attention. They want to bow out. So this partnership, the it may be the religious part of it or the secret society part of it that's separating themselves from this other group who were dealing with these, um, you know, less than desirable practices because of the attention that they're bringing and all the negative consequences they're bringing. And now they have a shit storm that has to be cleaned up. So, um, and it looks like someone's ex was connected to this in some sort of way and whoever they chose to partner up with. So whatever karmic they chose to partner up with or false twin, whatever, um, it looks like, uh, there's a mess that everybody has to has to clean up now so let's get in here and see what's going on <clears throat> my energy is still a little bit lower than i'd like but i did eat for the first time without it making me really sick today so <laughs> hopefully i've been able to get enough energy i tried to do a few readings and record them and my arms would get tired, and I was just exhausted, and, you know, so I just ended up not finishing them, and I felt really bad, but we're going to try to do this. Let's see if anything comes up. I've missed playing with my cards. <clears throat> someone's just doing their job this could be you who's doing your job or this is somebody within a group um this could be a good law official or somebody who i i hate to say this because a lot of people who do a lot of bad things think they're doing it for the right reasons and use that as a justification um you know that saying the means to an end so i'd like to pull a few more cards before i determine um who exactly this is that's just doing their job. And it could be you. Whoever the Divine Femme or Masculine is. Okay, to clarify. Um, so, you know, there's someone here who's a good upstanding person. Um, so there's a masculine energy here. Who's doing their job. I keep various weaponry weaponry strategically placed around the office. I saved Jim's life once with a can of pepper spray. I had Velcroed under my desk. So it looks like there's a masculine here that could be doing something, maybe even behind the scenes for a feminine. Because there's a feminine here. And then it says world's best boss. So this person could be a person in a position of leadership. So there could be a person who has a leadership role, and this could even be someone in a position of authority, you know, judge, lawyer, law official, whatever, but this person also has a high-ranking position within this, one of these groups, the uh, society groups here that I was mentioning from my Pink Floyd cards, and they were trying to keep something hidden that they were secretly watching. So this masculine was keeping it hidden that they have been watching everything go down, everything that's been happening. And they've taken, it looks like this masculine has taken a liking to this feminine, okay? And this person has been protecting this feminine, and they're just doing their job. But they're doing it secretly, and no one knows. Like, it's like, you don't even know this person's watching you may know this person, you may have met them, I don't know. So this person was watching someone try to play you like a piano. The person that you were with. And there's about to be an announcement. There's an investigation. There could be an investigation or something being done behind the scenes, but there's going to be an announcement here. 
So there's something is going to be made public about somebody that you were in a relationship with that's connected to all this. This is about to blow up. This has been coming out in my readings over and over again, but this is coming to a close. This is coming to a head. There is a big announcement that's going to be made about this feminine energy um, who is possibly just doing their job. I mean, I feel like both of you guys are just doing your job, even if it's just a spiritual job. It could be a job outside of spiritual gifts. It could be like a normal secular job, whatever. <clears throat> but there's an announcement that's going to be made about you. It's like you've put the hard work in, you've tried... Um, maybe you took a different route, a different avenue, switched careers, something, uh, but you've been speaking out the truth. You've been speaking the truth about a situation or what's going on. This could even be you just speaking out your truth or some, about something that happened to you and something's going to be made public and there's some sort of justice that's going to happen. I'm hearing online justice as well, and I'm not sure what that means. Um, but I'm hearing online justice, so I, I don't know what that, you know, what that means. I'm just the messenger, okay? So I used to be perfect, but now I'm even better in the reverse. So there's someone here that thought that they were better than you. And this could be the person that you were in a relationship with or that you were involved with that put you in a third-party situation. This could be the person that they chose over you who thought they were better than you. They could have been trying to copy you, imitate you, you know, same shit, different day, copycat bullshit. But somebody thought they were better than you, whether it was your ex or the person they ended up with. <clears throat> Somebody thought that they were better than you. <clears throat> but they're wasting their time. Because nobody can compare to you. No one can do what you do, okay? They can try, they can copy, they can imitate. But, you know, even if you're sick as fuck, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. You're the original, baby. You are the original. Big fat hairy deal. So this person's not impressed. They were not impressed. They were like, oh, big fat hairy deal. This person's nothing. Um, if I can just get them to disappear for a while, I can come in, take over, blah, 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 do what they do, and I can have as many followers as they have. Um, you know, shit like that, right? So, you know, say you're a tarot reader. I'm going to use myself as an example since I just had to take a nice long hiatus because of illness. Um which I thought was going to be a quick recovery, because I thought it was just something I caught from my kids, you know, <clears throat> that turned into, I don't know what the hell it fucking turned into, <laughs> but I'm not running a fever, I've just been sick as hell, um, so, say you're a tarot reader, right, and someone's been copying your work verbatim, you know, copying your message, stealing your shit, trying to build their, your, a platform off of your shit, okay, you're the real deal, you can read the cards, you know, you, you have a gift, right, and so you were gone for a while, like I was, and then this person's like, all right, here's my chance, I can swoop in, I can steal all their people, you know, I can take the collective, I can steal this, I can do this, and I can copy them, well, who, who the fuck you copying after if the original's gone, first of all, and second of all, how successful was it, because you were wasting your time, okay, feel free to waste your time, because that's exactly what it was. It was a waste of time <clears throat> trying to act like you were a divine femme or masculine and trying to steal what they do. It was never going to work out for you. Sorry, boo. Sorry to disappoint you. 
cats roll and dogs drool. They thought they were better than you, and you gave them the chance. You know, I'm just using myself as an example. I mean, what what better what better example? So someone could be getting money, or someone could be trying to squeeze you for some money, or so yeah, someone maybe thinking that um, they're getting some sort of money or finances, and. I feel like someone got disappointed and realized that they're not going to make any money doing, um, stealing your shit, first of all, okay, because people can tell the real from the fake, maybe not at first, you know, maybe not at first, but, you know, I do personal readings, um, I have turned down a couple because I've been sick, and when I feel more better <laughs> than what I do now, I will resume doing the personal readings again, um, but I'd like to have more of a clear head and not be so congested, you know, when I do those. But um, people can tell, okay? So if you're full of shit when you do a reading or something, if you're just pulling shit out of your ass, people are going to know, okay? And I have people that come back and get multiple readings from me. So, you know, people can tell the difference. <clears throat> Somebody was pissed. They were fighting mad. Someone was fighting mad. Because they thought they were going to get money. Especially if you were gone for a while or something. They're like, okay, here's my chance now. I'm going to get all this money for these readings. And somebody was put to a dead halt. Like, er, no, I don't think so. Someone's not happy in a relationship. This could be um, that karmic couple, you know, your toxic ex that hooked up with the karmic instead of, you know, the potential soulmate or whoever you were to this person you know, whatever connection you were supposed to have had, they fucked it up, okay, and they were being sneaky, so someone was being sneaky, and someone is not happy in this relationship anymore, and someone found out that this person may have been scoping the divine femme or divine masculine again, right, so depending on which side of this coin you fall on, right, so, this person that tried to copy you, imitate you, um, it didn't work, they were disappointed, well then they got pissed off, because then they found out that this person was, um, checking you out, or goo goo gaga for you, or watching you, and they were like, okay, I got something up my sleeve, so then they tried something else, and then they could have busted out some spell work, and, and did some more stupid shit, and you know how it goes, and now they're left scratching their butt, what happened? How did this happen? So, um, this karmic may have been ghosted by, you know, your karmic, you know, they, they weren't karmic originally, they weren't supposed to be karmic, but they turned karmic, and that's because everyone has free will. Hmm. See, now I'm getting hot flashes, and I wasn't having those, and it seems to happen even the few times I've tried to record some readings recently, um, even through being sick, I'll be fine, and then when I start recording, then, like, my whole body just starts getting really hot. <clears throat> yeah, someone's experiencing a stroke of bad luck. Someone brought a lot of bad luck upon themselves, especially if they came up against the Divine Femme or Masculine, because you got that magic touch. You got the sprinkle. You got that good good, okay? Because you have the divine gift, okay? It's like the Spongebob, you know? You got that love, the secret ingredient to the Krabby Patty, you know? Love. Unless you watch the other Spongebob episode. <coughs> Sorry, I had to pause the video to cough for a second. Unless you watch the other Spongebob episode where... Or it could have been the same one, it's been a while. Where they unroll it, and the secret ingredient's planted. <laughs> Man. Crazy bitches be throwing spell work your way up. Fo show, fo show. <clears throat> so someone can't sleep at night. Someone's having trouble sleeping at night. Um, they're having bad luck. They know you have the magic touch here. 
and somebody wants to partner up with you okay because you have the magic touch you have that Midas touch going on but somebody got a message of concern okay so somebody got a message of concern that they have some bad luck coming to them and they've been having trouble sleeping and their wish fulfillment their wishes desires their hopes are not coming true so that could have to do with that bad business deal that went wrong <clears throat> So not only did they fuck you over, they got burned trying to burn you and possibly this other group just for personal gain, clout, money, fame, whatever, I don't know, whatever their motivation was, <clears throat> more than likely mo money <clears throat> and power, of course, especially if it's within a community because those groups have a significant amount of pull. But however, okay, so the person that wants to come towards the Divine Femme is that masculine who is part of that group, the organization, not the one that, bur not the, not your ex, okay? <clears throat> These are two different people. Um, now your ex may want you back too, okay? I'm not going to say that they don't, but the energy I picked up from my office cards <clears throat> was that someone from within the group has taken a liking to you and they're strategically protecting you um without you knowing it okay like when if something crazy happens um say say you have something coming up like say you have an appointment or something really, you know, you're dreading it, something really bad's going to happen, blah, 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 and then you go and something really crazy happens and you're like, holy shit, there's somebody watching out for me. That's the kind of thing. Because of your work. It's the work you do. Somebody loves your work and they know that it comes from a good place and they know you're authentic, they know you're real, and they know that everything you do comes from a heart space of love. <clears throat> and somebody made a bad deal. They made a bad, bad deal. Capricorn could be significant. I may have to turn this into a two-parter here. Um, because we're not too very far in. And since this is the first time I've recorded in a while. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see how long this takes. And we'll see how long it takes to upload. <clears throat> I know a lot of times if I go over 30 minutes, it has a hard time uploading. Someone that made a deal can't rest. Someone that made a deal with somebody else, they, they can't rest. They they just can't. Um, they're not sleeping. They're having bad luck. That came out in the Care Bears cards. Um, someone's having a really hard time. And they were not expecting this. Someone's juggling. This could be finances, but it doesn't It doesn't have to be. The Two of Pentacles, even though it's juggling Pentacles, it doesn't have to be that they're juggling finances, although a lot of times it is. But this could be you who's juggling finances. And we have a Queen of Pentacles that came out sideways. So there is somebody here. <clears throat> Who's juggling finances and we have the queen of pentacles that came out sideways and then we have the queen of wands and being laid to rest the four of swords here so there's someone in a position of leadership and someone who's good at budgeting money finances so you could be the queen of pentacles like the divine femme could be the queen of pentacles and then we have um someone in a position of leadership who's going to put something to rest Someone who is protecting you, caring, compassionate. Um, so this could be a masculine and their feminine energy, or this could be um, a feminine in a leadership position. But there's a feminine here in a leadership position that's going to lay something to rest.
for, and I feel like th this is two separate people. I feel like the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles are two completely different people. <clears throat> I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is the Divine Femme who's juggling finances. And the Queen of Wands is going to lay something to rest about this. Because the reason the Queen of Pentacles is juggling finances is because of the crazy bullshit that this Queen of Pentacles' ex was doing with this other group to get resources and finances because <clears throat> the group is broke and they were trying to steal from a Divine Femme. So, you have this masculine this dm who's watching that's part of this group who is working with this queen of wands who is in a position of leadership because that's how this shit works right okay um the men okay um run the shit and then they have other people that are connected to this organization that do basically what they're told to do mm. So, you know, if the order comes down from the higher ups, you know, people have to follow. So, anything else before I move on? Yeah, there's your DM right there. There's your King of Cups. There's your person that wants to make you the offer. Because someone was not in their life's calling. Somebody was trying to take you out of your life's calling so they could take your place. And they can't measure the fuck up. Okay. They can't suit up, brah. They're not you. Okay. They're never going to be you. They created an injustice trying to steal your shit. Trying to be you. They were not in their life's calling. They created a financial imbalance. And now, this emperor, this person... Is rushing in with the truth here, and this emperor is about to make some shit happen. <clears throat> because this mofo that created all this drama for the divine femme is not going to have a positive outcome. There's this just is, was never going to work out the way they thought it was going to. Uh -uh. DF divine femme, you're being set free. Your strength, courage, your perseverance is pulling your ass out of this situation because you've proved what you're capable of. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. They don't get a happily ever after. They don't get a happy ending. Not off your dime. Not off your resources. Not off your life. Not anymore. They're, they're not going to have a happy, stable family. No. Nope. And that, they're getting the communication. They're going to receive the communication. That's the message of concern. You don't get a happy family. You ruined a divine femme, divine masculine's life. Or you attempted to, you know, take it how it resonates. Your ass is under judgment. Judgment has been called biatch. <clears throat> yeah. Because we had a queen of wands who was in the reverse. Okay. So... There was someone who was not in a position that they should have been in to begin with. Because they're not the Queen of Wands. So, you could be replacing somebody in the near future for a position. Um, or, you're not replacing anyone. No, you know what? No, you're not replacing anyone. Because you're already the Queen of... You're already in a position of leadership. You're already the Queen of Pentacles. And I usually associate the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands kind of goes hand in hand, even though I said earlier they were two separate people. But this is somebody who wanted your position. You're already a natural born leader. But there's somebody in a leadership position that's going to do something about this because this King of Cups wants her to. Okay. And it looks like this person may be getting dethroned because they didn't do what they were supposed to do. <clears throat> Or that didn't do the right thing when they were supposed to. Okay, so balance has to be restored. So there's a Queen of Wands here who, a minute ago, was told to do something. Okay, so I said that this person, the chain of command came down. The masculine told this female, who's 
part of the organization, they had to do something. This biatch didn't do it, okay? And now she's the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and balance has to be restored because she didn't do what she was told to do, right? This person did not do what she was told to do, and so she's going to lose her position because she didn't want anything to move forward for you, the Divine Femme. She didn't want you to be able to persevere. Instead, they put heavy burdens on you, okay, with the Ten of Wands here. This person didn't help you. Instead, they added more burdens to you and was trying to stop you from moving forward or traveling. They were trying to stop your movement. And now this person is going to be stopped. Their movement's going to be haltered, hindered, whatever. They don't get it happily ever after. If they wanted to fuck up your shit, now their shit's about to be fucked up. Let's just keep it real. So we have a karmic person here who is trying to put barriers in your path to keep you bound, trapped, and stuck. So this Queen of Wands could have been hooking up. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So you're, if you're the Divine Femme here, right, your karmic ex, your toxic ex, hooked up with this queen of wands and that's why she was making your life help that's why she wasn't doing things that she was told to do by other people because she was listening to her karmic toxic ex to put barriers in your path and you're going to be set free from this shit yeah <clears throat> damn yo talk about a twisted fucked up tale Yo, yo, yo. Yep, you suffered heartbreak because of these barriers. Um, you know, you were stuck. There were barriers in your path, and they caused you severe heartbreak. These barriers weren't just a little stumbling blocks. These were big fucking boulders that you had to bulldoze through just to fucking survive. And that's the shitty part. And that's why this emperor is busting in the, the Knight of Swords style with some sort of truth. And I, I'm here. And listen here, motherfucker. These secrets aren't staying secret anymore. All right. We already know. The jig is up. This emperor is telling this queen of wands, we know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm here. I don't think so, Scooter. <laughs> I love that. I don't think so, Scooter. I know I say that a lot, but apparently it was the moment to say it because Page of Swords. Moment of truth, moment of glory here. Someone's getting educated, someone's getting enlightened, and my god, they are getting an earful. Um, it's like somebody can't believe what they're reading, okay? Um, so like I said, that crazy shit moment <clears throat> when something unexpected is going to happen for you, right? So, so you're expecting the worst in a situation. <clears throat> you go to the situation and something crazy fucking happens. And you're just like, huh? How is this possible? Well, now these other motherfuckers are wondering the same shit. They're like, how the fuck did this person, like, how did they, how did it work out for them? Huh? Man. That's because... Someone's keeping a big piece of hidden information from you, and that is because they want to come towards you with this love offer, with this Ace of Cups. So we have this Ace of Wands here, and Ace of Cups, and someone is going to be telling you this, okay? This is going to be brought to your attention. You may not know who, but this is your aha moment, okay? Um, that's your moment that someone is watching out for you and someone must really fucking love you 
for something like this to happen. Like, something really big is going to happen, okay? <clears throat> so, like, say, uh, all right, I'm just going to say this. So, say uh, you have, like, a judgment against you, okay? Like, you, you're going to court, like, say you have a court date coming up. Like, that's been coming out, right? And you're expecting the worst. Like, you know, they told you to bring all this shit with you. They're going to take all your shit, whether you have shit or not, you know? Um, you're going in there expecting, like, you don't even know what you're going to expect. You've been, like, praying for the worst, but you, you don't know what's going to happen. And then you go in there, and they're like, oh, well, you can, you know, we're not going to, like, seize all your assets. You just have to temporarily pay, you know, like, so much. And then once you get back on your feet, then you can start making bigger payments. And you're just like, what just happened? Like... It, it, it was like, it would be like hearing a fucking pardon, like when, if you're on death row or something and you're an innocent person walking down, you know, that final walk to the fucking lethal, you know, table, lethal injection table, and they're getting ready to strap you in and they're like, whoa, 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 we just got new evidence, this person's innocent, and it's like, I've been saying that the whole fucking time, and you're like, oh my god, someone really loves me, <laughs> that's because someone really does, okay, somebody really does. You just don't know who. <laughs> Whoever it is has been keeping their identity hidden. But you're coming up out of this cold. You're coming out of the Five of Pentacles. So you're not going to be juggling finances. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. And, you know, this, this Queen of Pentacles, um, you know... This King of Pentacles, this masculine energy here, has feelings for you, and this person could be, you know, fairly well off, alright? This person has money, they have pull, they have connections. Just say it. Alright, I'm going to pull a few message cards here. <clears throat> Yeah, somebody wasn't suffering. They wanted you to be suffering. Um, but they weren't suffering for the shit that they were doing to you. These, this, all this karmic shit that was going on to burn you, cause you pain. Fortune favors the brave. You're a brave motherfucker, let me tell you. You could have literally walked into the lion's den, man. And they could have been waiting for you to snap, too. Like, everything you've been through, these people know, because they're watching. Like, everyone, you know, these people have eyes everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not like they're oblivious to what's going on. But if you've been in seclusion and isolation, maybe somebody doesn't know how you're going to react or how you're going to act, if you're going to snap or what. But, you know what? You're a brave-ass mofo. What's holding you back? secrets so somebody somebody thought as long as they kept their secrets hidden that um you know it's like that's what's holding these people back because these people that were doing a lot of illegal shit with the trafficking the sex shit the prostitution stuff that's what's gonna that's what got them caught that's that's what got all this shit caught up because they were so worried about keeping their secrets hidden they were holding their self back by fucking over a divine femme to keep their shit hidden um your sibling your brother or sister could know something about this or could be involved in this somehow And of course, we have <clears throat> some bad cops or corrupt officials that are involved in this as well, somehow. And it doesn't have to be like your blood relative or your blood sister or brother, you know? Just somebody that you would view as a sibling, or maybe that was close to you like a sibling. 
and, you know, stop making me angry. So, somebody was holding a grudge, they were keeping secrets, and their sibling is either a bad corrupt official, or they're connected to these bad cops, corrupt officials in some way. <clears throat> They lied about being in a relationship with you. So, somebody said that they, dude, is this your, don't tell me this Queen of Wands bitch in the reverse is your sister, or, you know, if you're a divine femme or something like that. Um, I don't know what's going on with this brother or sister thing. This could be a sibling to to the person that you separated from that is a corrupt official in some sort of way. You know, take it how it resonates. I'm seeing this a few different ways here. Um, this doesn't have to be your sibling just because it says your sibling. It could actually be somebody else's sibling in this mess here that is a corrupt law official, okay? that um, It could be the sibling of the Queen of Wands in the reverse, someone who's in a leadership position that has, you know, corrupt family members in the system, and that's why they're able to get away with shit until they did it to you, okay? So, summer could be significant, this one's blank, M-N-O or P, and Libra. So, balance needs to be restored, or Libra could be significant with those initials. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone does not have the luck of the Irish here. So, someone is facing a significant amount of bad luck here. For something that they did in June, in December. IJK and L could be, IJK and L could be, could be significant. Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant. Um, Monday came out sideways, so... Um, this coming Monday, or Monday in the near future, could be significant. Someone's in hot water. Because they're a bald-faced liar. And they were as dull as dishwater. They thought you were as dull as dishwater. This bald-faced liar thought that you'd be an easy target. And this would be one, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Over and done. They would get away with this shit. Um, you know, they thought it'd be like stealing candy from a baby. And boy, were they wrong. And good old Virgo comes out, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, but someone's able to read between the lines now. So secrets are are not hidden anymore. Someone's going to get arrested because you had the wit someone has the wisdom of the ages. This could be you, the divine femme or masculine, and you're a good kind soul. Libra and Aries. Someone missed the boat, and they're about to be facing trials and tribulations. You lived under the same roof as this person, so somebody that you lived under the same roof with is going to be facing trials and tribulations. Pisces came out sideways. So, somebody pulled the wool over someone's eyes. A lot of people's eyes. Back in June... This was the calm before the storm. This was unrequited. There's unrequited love. Love is blind, or someone loves you blindly, um, or you love somebody blindly on Tuesday, and someone's going to be finding this out, because this person who is pulling the wool over everyone's eyes, um, they're not having their moment in the sun. They're going to have bad luck. All right, let's pull some letters here. All right, person, place, or think be significant. Letter M. I just had one fall on the floor. R, so Mr. So there's definitely Mr. I'm hearing Mr. 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 K. Hmm, that could be a clue. That reminds me of the men in black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> J. Mr. J. Like the Joker. Mr. J. 
Mr. KJ. A. U. A. Mr. J could be an alcoholic. O. And a joke off. Q. I. Quid pro quo, please. And R. So I am M R K J A U O Q A I N R. Um, so an incident report could be significant as well. Mm -hmm. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.